Hi, I'm Jamie Schmale, Member of Parliament for Halliburton, Kawartha Lakes, Brock, and this is the second of what we hope will be a series of videos focusing on entrepreneurs, young entrepreneurs, across our riding. And today we are in Cannington to talk to Grace, who has graciously welcomed us into her home, the owner of Tales Boutiques. Well, I guess we should start with what your business is all about. My business is all about animals and providing attire for dogs and cats. I sell poop bags, bow ties, bandanas, personalized embroidered pillows. So at the age of 15, you came up with the idea to start your own business. What gave you that idea to go in this direction? I wanted to start my business because I didn't have that many jobs around in Cannington. And so places were just going out of business at the time. And I'm like, well, I need a job. I need to make money somehow. So I thought, what's well, a great, great idea to incorporate dogs because I love them into my business. So I thought, well, let's just let's just give it a shot. And so I started making a few, and then it just like, well, we can just do it full time. And then it just kind of slowly got crazier and crazier. So when people ask you what you do in your free time for employment. And you tell them, well, at 15 years of age, I started my own business. What reaction do you usually get? Um, usually I get, wow, I've, I've never heard that before. Or, wow, you know, like, this is, you don't see this every day. More people need to start doing it. And, it, it you know, that feeling where you're like, oh, yeah, I, I accomplished something, you know. Or it's, yeah, I did something for a good reason. Or I needed the money and I needed to show people what I am capable of doing. You know, it's that feeling. The feeling must be just as great when you get feedback from yeah. your customers. Yes, and they is. show you pictures of their <laughs> dogs with your product on. Yeah, on. I I love to um, post their pictures and say, look, look what they just got. You know, they're so happy. Knowing that you've made someone's day, it's a great opportunity and it's a great feeling of your own. You must be learning a lot of different skills. Yeah. with your own business that you may not have had the opportunity to do yeah. had you chosen another path. Well, I, I've learned how to, you know, properly mail stuff. I've learned to not just do one thing at a time, like just sitting at a desk and you're just sitting there doing the same thing over and over again. And But that's not what it's like. You're doing everything on your own. You're sewing, you're getting everything prepared to get mailed out, creating new things and like figuring out what you could do that will please the audience. I guess that's the secret, finding a product or service that people want to voluntarily buy. Yeah, I do a lot of polls on Instagram and Facebook asking what they'd rather see, what they want, you know, and I've had quite a few um, comebacks and say, oh, I like this idea and I like this idea, or do you think you could do this? And, it's That's actually really good because you're polling the people you want to sell to, so you're letting the market, yeah. you follow the market, and or at least get ahead in some cases. Yeah, it's, it's been a great opportunity. So you're in grade 12, Yes. you're going off to post-secondary, yeah. and your plans hopefully to continue the business? Yes. yes, I'm planning on taking it all with me Nice. and continuing it as far as I can go. Now tell me about the support you have. Um, my support is... Because okay, although you're great, yeah. I, I'm sure it's a team effort too. <laughs> um, the support is great. My mom has been a huge, huge role model in my business. And she comes to shows with me. She's the one who encouraged me to do it. She's the one who brought the attention to me when it all started. When I first started my business, I was um, introduced to an angel investor. And his name was Frank Odino. And he's like, well, I can be your business coach. And so then he introduced me to Emma Harris, who is um, part of Healthy Pets. She's the CEO and founder. And um, she was actually on Dragon's Den. And she was um, accepted by Arlen Dickinson. And so she's my mentor. So what advice would you give to other young people or even adults that are thinking of a career change that might believe that small business is the path forward for them? Um, I'd say, you know, don't be afraid to do something. Um, as like I said, I I was counting down on myself. I'm like, well, I can't do it, but people are encouraging me to do it, you know? So just go out for it and try your hardest. And if it doesn't work, go try something new. Um, but like, don't be afraid to reach out to people. Um, as I reached out to, you know, like an angel investor, I reached out 
to a YouTuber who mentioned me in her YouTube video. I tell myself, you know, don't hold yourself back from any opportunities. Just go as far as you possibly can. And if, you know, and if it stops halfway, you know, just, just try and avoid it. Just, just go around it and, you know, try a different obstacle which you can do. Well, thank you so much, Grace, for taking time out of your very busy schedule and talking to us today about how you came up with the idea to start a business, how you're growing that business, and how you're going to proceed with it in the future. I wish you luck as you finish up secondary school and then on to your post-secondary education. And I hope Tales Boutiques continues to be as amazing as it is today into the future. Thank you.